Okay, celebrity skin talk. Sharon K, how are you? Hey, I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, honey. How is your day going so far? Like, it's morning it with you right now, but how yes, are you? it is morning, and I just uh, was in the middle of my online college classes. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh God, honey, how is it all going? Because with all this like lockdown situation, did you? Is it all like kind of caught up now? You're kind of like back up to speed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. I mean, it's just been crazy because everything is now online and through Zoom. So I'm just oh. hoping that I get back to campus so I can use my legs to walk. <laughs> oh, geez. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. I know. It's kind of crazy how it's just everything's gone like literally online. Everything's online. Absolutely. It's mad. Oh, and I'm so excited to get you on, have a good chat about skincare because you are i love your songs by the way i there were two on my playlist and, and kid you not it's run and i do i love them thank you you're welcome <laughs> and i just want to say because i i've watched so many interviews because i was just in research and stuff and i didn't know you was actually living in london because i'm from the uk mm -hmm. and I, I i didn't know that happened like when did you move from like london to you're in like oh, LA now? You're in LA? Yeah, I'm in yeah. LA. Yeah, like when did you move over? Well, I'd say, you know, music kind of uh, pulled me into the States. <laughs> and yeah. Um, yeah, I was raised in London and I was there for most of my life. Um, and that's where, where I, you know, uh, studied music from Royal Music of London, which I'm sure you know. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I mean, you know, that was the place where sort of, um, I guess, you know, found out that I have this talent of singing and, you know, that's how this all started. And then, um, yeah, it's been four years since I've been living in LA, so. Okay, honey, okay. So how, how would you find LA to London, though? It is so different. It is absolutely different. Um, you know, I still had my accent when I came down here, so it was, it was kind of uh, hard to communicate with people. Um, I remember I was, I think I was with my friend and I was like, um, you know, where is the lift? And then they were like, what do you mean? And I was like, you know the lift where you kind of go up and down? And they were like, oh, you mean the elevator? So I was like, yes, I mean oh. that. But um, there's still like so many words that I just cannot pronounce in American accent. And so I go back to like, you know, pronouncing it in British, but it's just, it's just weird, but it's amazing. I mean, LA and London are definitely the two of my favorite, um, you know, cities to be in, so. Yeah, and they're very busy cities as well, you know? So you always had that around you, I suppose, because London is manic. And, and I, I, I've never been to LA, but it must be the same, right? Yeah, totally. Except like the weather is never unpredictable over here. So, you know, you can go out and, you know, if it's sunny, you can just chill. It won't rain on you out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, funny you say it. it happened to me today. I was out dog walking. It, it was a bit like cloudy and it was like, oh, no, come on, please don't. And then it's like a couple of rains and then it was like rain. I'm like, oh, no. And then it was sunshine, like literally like an hour later. I was like, oh. I'm sorry. I'm, I guess that's what I miss about London. <laughs> I know, I know. I, uh, I'm so excited anyway, honey. Um, but yeah, because I, obviously I saw your music videos, I, you know, on Instagram and stuff. You're very like glam. I love you. You love to dress up. Um, so it's very nice to get you on. But and also as well, I wanted to talk to you about obviously skincare, you know, your skin routine. But then I saw an interview with you, I think it was like an American talk show. And then you said um, about, you know, when you come into like this music industry, like how people wanted to change your color of your hair and all these different things. Like, let's just talk about that. Like, just let's, like how, who kind of told you to kind of ch change who you were? Um, you know, I mean, obviously I didn't really have, um you know, uh, anyone that I knew from the States, I was just um, very unknown to this place. So obviously I did not know, uh, you know, what kind of people would come across and, you know, who are like the official, um, you know, industry business people and who are like the con artists. Yeah. <laughs> so, you, know, you always get dragged along those uh, loopholes. Um, and I wasn't really unaware of that. 
um, so, so yeah, I mean, you know, I would just go up to people and just kind of like be very enthusiastic because, you know, I was a teenager and I still am, but, you know, I was just like, uh, you know, 14, 15. So I had all that energy and hype, like, yeah, I'm in the States now. I'm going to be a singer and artist. I'm going to do it. And, um, and yeah, and then I had like people just kind of like, you know, have that judgy look on their face and be like, hmm, you where are you from again? And I would be like, oh, well, you know, I was born in India and raised in uh, London and everything. And they'll be like, yeah, you see, you're born in India, you're South Asian. So we would have to do something that would make you fit in with, you know, the rest of the people. And I was like, okay, sure. Like, what do you want me to do? And then the first thing they said that, how about changing your name? Or how about like, you know, changing the way you dress or your hair color, or let's say, start, you know, dressing up young. And I was like, what do you mean to start dressing up young? This is, this is how I dress, yeah. you know? So it, it was just so weird to kind of understand what they meant. And, um, and yeah, I mean, you know, I was always a very uh, shy and introvert person. So, it, you know, it was really hard for me to kind of come out of my shell uh, let alone change into a complete different person. Um, and then I had started having like, you know, a bunch of self doubts and, you know, I somehow kind of lost all my confidence. Um, and then, you know, I just had my friends and family who actually showed me that, you know, I'm perfect the way I am. And that's what makes me different. You know, it doesn't matter wh where I come from or, you know, what my skin color is you know as long as i'm giving uh my best and as long as i'm you know sharing my story and experiences and motivating people you know that's that's all that matters and um you know and gradually i started to gain all my confidence and everything and you know and i just wanted to give that back to to people who are still sort of struggling to you know find their uh identity and um and yeah yeah, it, that it, that is crazy that you're saying that though, isn't it? Like how people kind of like tell you, you've got to change this, you've got to change that, just to kind of fit in. We're really, you know, like, you know, this is the way you were born. Like, this is the way you are. This is us. This, this is me. So it's, this is what you're going to get. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's, it's true though. Um, Because like, I think you you stuck by that and you're very, you know, you're confident now, like you said, but, you know, I, I, I've been there though, hun, you know, I've been Rocky Road, I've been, turn down jobs because I've had bad skin and it's just like okay um you know which is it's just the way it goes I guess it's the industry where I guess we're in but yeah I can definitely relate to you in that kind of sense but um I think you know I'm, obviously I'm older as well and like and before I was just um you know going down the route like oh you better change this or you know keep it to dark tones and you know kind of like in color wise you know just because that's because I'm quite pale and got dark like features and things and I was just like okay okay so I couldn't really like then I think I'm limited what I could change mm -hmm. just for someone else telling me that if you know what I mean and I was thinking mm. and it's and it, and it knocks you back because you're thinking yeah you know you just can't live kind of your life away I guess because you kind of have that in your back of your mind um, oh, absolutely yeah but not anymore it's past us we've we passed that. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> so how is, so I, let's talk though, um, before maybe a music shoot, that'd be a good one to start because you are my first music artist actually on the Celebrity Skin Talks. So it'd be quite interesting to know because I, I know, because I've interviewed so many people in the music industry on my podcast show, um, that like music videos, they can literally, you could wake up five in the morning, four in the morning, and go all the way to the next morning. I know it could be 24 hour shoots. I know it can, a one video can take up to three days. Like I know so many different things. Like how do you kind of like prep, you know, your body, your skin, maybe, I don't know if you maybe have a little new skin routine before prepping for a shoot because you're on camera and it's long days. Cause you know, mm -hmm. they, you know how long they are. I, I don't have to say that to you, but. How how does it all work out for you, honey? Like so, like if you're prepping for a shoot. 
Um, well, I must say, I mean, you know, it's always really exciting to go on to the shoots and, you know, film for the music video because there's just so many things going on. You get really excited. You get to wear like new outfits and hair and just explore and experiment and have fun. Um, but at the same time, you got to take care of your skin, obviously, because you're in the front of the camera. So, um, you know, you, you want to make yourself look as beautiful and clean and clear as possible. Um, so what I do is, you know, I, I just, I don't really like stress too much. Um, and, you know, I just kind of like, you know, I spend the entire day just putting on like multiple face masks mm -hmm. and everything. And I'm just like, you know, making sure that I don't have any sort of like pimple popping out, you know? Um, and, and yeah, I just kind of like, you know, breathe in and breathe out. And I just kind of relax and I go over through, uh, you know, through the, the schedule and how everything is. And I make sure that I'm like, you know, exercising just so I have like, uh, just so I look, you know, a little um, lean, I guess, or, um, or active. Um, mm -hmm. and, and yeah, I mean, you know, I'm just like always really excited to be on the sets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So in your everyday routine, a skincare, it doesn't really change what you think before photo shoot, or do you do a lot more face masks before photo shoot? Yeah, I think or I do. A, I think I do a bit more uh, mm. if I have like a photo shoot the next day or a video shoot or something like that, because mm. you know it's just different. Um, I do do it like on a daily basis, but sometimes you know because we all have work and you know we are our schedules just kind of change uh, over the last you know, minute. So, so yeah, but you know, definitely when I know that, okay, my shoot is in like a week or so, then I'm just like, you know, on a really cool diet. So I'm not having like any cupcakes or no donuts or anything like that. Um, and, uh, yeah, you know, just like prepping my face and making sure it's just good for, for the camera. So yeah. Yeah. Has it, there ever been a time though, it could be like a photo shoot, video shoot, or maybe even like an event because, um, you know, people photograph, photograph you, you know, whatever really. But like, has there ever been a time, you know, you're thinking, or, you know, it, it could be body, it could be skin, it could be anything, you know, confident wise, just how kind of a look is, you're thinking, no, we've got to do that again, or if it was an event and it was a photo taken did it any set you back thinking oh gosh like that pimple was showing or do you ever suffer from that kind of like fear because I do like I, I think a lot of people I speak to especially in like in the celebrity creative industry which you are photographed and you do a lot of things on camera mm -hmm. um that is one of our concerns like most people would say because you know, sometimes you can't hide a spot, unfortunately, you know, when it when it pops out. Um, makeup sometimes makes it, like, enhance it a little bit more, if you know what I mean. Like, it knows it's there. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. I mean, you know, my, my skin is just all over the place. Um, so, yeah, I have, like, you know, so many hormonal changes because I'm a teenager. So there's always a new pimple coming out, and I'm just like, oh, my gosh, not today. <laughs> um, but, you know, you just like you say, the show must go on. So I make sure that I just, you know, uh, obviously put ointments and make sure that it just kind of goes back down somehow. But if it doesn't, then, you know, just putting on like tons and tons of makeup or coverage somehow. I am t terrible at makeup. So I always, you know, really regret when I see myself on red carpet pictures and everything. Um, because, you know, sometimes I have to do my own makeup and I'm just like, oh my gosh, girl, you just don't look good. But, um, <laughs> but you know, that's, I think staying true and natural to yourself is just, you know, it's, it's the best way. And I feel like, you know, everybody has flaws in some way. So, you know, if you accept it, then, then it's just, you know, good for you because you have that confidence. Like, it's fine. I have a pimple, but you know. We, we all do, and we all go through, like, different phases of life. So, uh, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I, I'm a big believer in that because people, you know, because it is, you know, when you're, definitely when you're first starting out, whatever we do um, in this industry, you know, it, we are obsessed because, obviously, we all know how, like, the media works, you know, and how they kind of look, 
what is a certain look and if you know if something bad happens they're all over it that kind of thing you know and then yeah it's crazy but like when you when you're in there for a long time and you've worked so hard you've done so many amazing things i think over time you're thinking do you know what yeah i will do a red carpet event i'll do my own makeup i'll do my own hair like it doesn't matter to me too much anymore it's i'm more comfortable in who i am and this is is who i am you know mm -hmm. yeah. And oh, that's yeah. really good to have, I think. That's really good to have. Yeah, totally. I mean, I just feel like, you know, I've always been really insecure about my skin, you know, not just the color of it, but because, you know, like I said before, I, I'm, I'm a teenager, so you always have those hormonal changes going on. And, and then you see those, these other, you know, celebrities out there who are just flawless, you know, for, for <laughs> And then you're just like there and you're like, oh my gosh, how are you so beautiful? Like, give me some tips and advices. But then again, you know, it's just um, like you just said right now, you know, just to be true to yourself and just accept the fact that, um, that everybody has flaws and so do you and it's okay to have flaws. Oh God, yeah. Every, everywhere. It could be the most famous person in the world. You have a bad hair day. You have a bad skin day. They all have them and, and everyone does. Like you are not human if no one has one. You know what I mean? It's 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 life in a and but like you said, I think you know even if it's stress, I think stress I think it does affect the skin a lot, especially you know it makes you a little bit tired. I think as well, and that affects your skin. It, it, it's so many different things. It's just not what you put on your face. It's just like how you are at that time, I suppose. Like if you're. Like if you, if you, I don't know if you have been, but if you like stressing about like a photo shoot, you know, because you want it to go smoothly, you know, they are, everyone is there working with you, I suppose. And I think, you know, that's, and you got the most stress because you're the, you're the one they're there for, you know, and I know you've got schedules and you're thinking, oh God, you know, and, and that will just make my skin just flare up, you know, <laughs> because it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Yeah. But as long as you enjoy it, that's all that matters. <laughs> yes, you've got to enjoy it. But like, have you, so you've obviously you bumped into celebrities. Have you ever kind of like asked for any skin tips or advice? Or maybe saying like, oh, what kind of makeup you're wearing kind of thing? Like, I want to give her a shot. Like, have you ever asked any of them, any of that, anything like that? I do get asked for some absolute weird reason because I don't find myself to be like someone who is a very, uh, who's an expert at, uh, you know, makeup or skincare. I'm just making sure that my skin does not like, you know, put me down when I'm in front of the camera somehow. So I'm always kind of Googling, you know, what's the best way to get rid of a pimple overnight or what's the best way to have that glow on your face and everything. Um, but I feel like over the years I did kind of, uh, you know, picked and chose a couple of my favorite routines and everything that, that mm. suit well with, with me and my skin. So, um, and so I've been doing that for, um, you know, a couple of years now. Uh, do you know when you moved from London to LA, did you find you had to like kind of switch up your skincare a lot from then? Because they are completely different places on earth, number one. But like it's like you go from London, which is, has like rain, snow, heat, all these different things. And then LA is more, I know, summery and it's more heat. Like, did you kind of think, right, okay, this kind of product won't work over here. Let's like scrap it. Let's get something else like more maybe SPF, I suppose, in LA. I, even though I, SPF has to be worn whatever the weather, I'm always a big believer in that. But did you, did you have a, like a bit of a change? Oh yeah, totally. Like speaking of SPF, like I, I, as soon as I got into LA, the heat was like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. so, you know, I just need a sunscreen right now. Um, but yeah, I mean, there are, you know, I feel like in London, I wasn't a bit too much on, uh, you know, makeup or skincare routines and everything. But when I got into LA and I saw like, you know, people and everybody and like the environment kind of, you know, changes as well. Yeah. Um, so totally, I mean, you know, taking care of your skin and everything, but I feel like the sun has helped me a lot, um, you know, to just sunbathe a little while. Um, you know, really helps you with, with your skin and everything. So uh, that's something that I do, um, you know, and eating like, I feel like I didn't really eat a lot of, uh, you know, fruits and vegetables back in London. I don't know why, 
but you know suddenly I'm in LA and I'm just having like all these healthy you know foods and everything um maybe because like the restaurants are all so uh healthy out here so <laughs> yeah. but um but yeah just you know kind of uh maintaining a very active life over here not that I didn't have back in London but you know just like making sure that you're you're going out for a workout and then you're coming back home you have a smoothie and everything um so yeah yeah so you would say that your lifestyle from London has gone to uh, you know the lifestyle of LA which is working out smoothies uh, restaurants you know it, they are all healthy you, they are healthy you know they are really hot on it you know and I know what you mean with London I think because it's just so many like you know like chip shops and you know noodle places you just quickly pop into you know when you're on the go and stuff like that and I know what you mean because it's just easy to have it that way um so I, I understand but yeah it's quite nice but is it been a nice kind of lifestyle change for you do you think you can definitely feel see the difference in your like in yourself and your body how you are um, yeah, I think I can. I mean, you know, I feel like I'm not sure how how true this is, but like, you know, your face kind of changes gradually throughout the years. So, um, you know, when I look at my picture from back in London, it's just really weird. And I'm like, oh, okay, I look like this. But then when I look at my pictures now, um, I can see a little bit of difference, you know, that not not in the sense that I've kind of grown up, but like even in the face kind of, you know, I've got that kind of glow in here. Um, and it's just it looks really nice um, now, uh, maybe because I was a child back then, and I had no clue about skincare or anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I just wanted to, you know, get done with my math homework. But um, but now it's just, you know, making sure that you all you look good. And also speaking of that, because you know, this is LA is the place for, you know, for for just for cameras, and and you always got to be in front of that, especially if you are an artist or an influencer or you know, like a TV host or anything. You know, you're always on. In, in front of the camera, even on Instagram, you know, you're always showing your face, you're always like interacting with people. So you gotta, so everybody I feel like in the back of their minds have to be aware of, you know, how they want to present themselves. Yeah, yeah. And then what, so what is your, like you wake up in the morning, like what is your skin routine? Like are, are you, because like, I guess because you're at home more now in this kind of like era we're in, do you kind of think, because when we're on the go, and obviously you must have a busy lifestyle, because I know you do so many different things in the day, as well as like, you know, the music thing. <laughs> like that's your job as well. So there's so many different things. So you might not have time. But now in this lockdown situation, we're doing so many things online. Mm -hmm. Do you think you've got more time? So now I'm like, okay, I have an, I'm getting a good routine because like I, like, well, especially for me in my experience, when I, was getting a routine. It was very hard. It's like, right, I've got to, got to, got to do this, got to do that. Got to... But then eventually then, I think it just come naturally to me. And then I felt like, you know, my skin, if I didn't do something, it's like telling me like, where is it? Like, it should have been done, you know, where my skin is like telling me, it's like, I need that cleanser, you know, I need that moisture. I need something on, you know, it, it, and it's weird to see when you have a routine because when you kind of slow down from it, it does, Talia, it's so strange saying that, but it's true. <laughs> Absolutely, I, I yeah. totally agree. I mean, before, you know, I used to just kind of skip routines and just do the main things. But now yeah. that I have, you know, time to to give it to my face and, um, you know, my entire body. So I'm always making sure that I go step by step and I do see results, you know, um, in, in, within a week which is just amazing and and then I do realize like you just said you know when you stop or when you gradually uh let it go you know it just your face kind of tells you skin kind of tells you that hey yeah. you know, I need my moisturizer I need my toner and everything so so yeah I make sure that um you know I'm, I'm following all the steps and uh yeah what are you so you definitely cleanse your tone moisturize are they the, definitely the three things you do daily would you say they're the kind of like strict things you do or do you kind of just do a quick cleanser and then moisturizer like what's your kind of yeah I, I I do do that because my face um gets oily very 
you know, fast. So I need to make sure that I'm always like washing my face. And sometimes, you know, when it gets too oily, then I'm always like, uh, you know, cleansing it and, and toning and everything. And then, um, you know, when I need that sort of brightening on my face because I'm all stressed or I've been in the sun for too much, too long, um, then I put on a mask, you know, and I make these like homemade masks as well. Um, so, you know, it's just kind of helps you out with your skin and, and then you see the results. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, give me give me one um, homemade mask you do because I've tried a couple as well and I think it's the most natural thing you can do, I suppose, for your skin. You, it's, it's no worried about it, you know, because you know what you put it in there and things like that. Uh, but what 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 one do you use? Just give me one. Which one? Um, so I, I actually, I think I found this somewhere. Um, so I think you add like, you add milk in it and you add a little bit of turmeric and, um, you know, you kind of like mix it all up and then you just apply it because the turmeric kind of brightens up your face. Yeah. Um, and then it makes you look, uh, amazing. And the other one is like taking a, you know, an orange and just like, you know, squeezing it out the, the juice of it and just applying it and kind of gently massaging your skin onto your skin and, you know, wait for like uh, 10, 15 minutes and then you can wash it off. So again, using fruits as well yeah. <laughs> um, you know, into your, into your homemade masks and everything. Um, and there's this, a uh, really cool, um, I think kind of like a scrub, which, which my grandmother actually kind of, uh, you know, told me, um, so it's like you put the milk and you put, um, sugar in it and then you kind of like rub it on your face, rub it in your palms and then you put it, apply it on your face, everything. And then you stay for a while, uh, like five, 10 minutes and then you wash it off and your skin is just really smooth. So, yeah. Well, that's like a natural exfoliator. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's so many, I don't know, have you heard about like obviously the sugar lip scrub? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Similar thing. So, you know, and, um, you know, it, it probably is a project out there that is there, but in a natural way, because on Instagram, that's how I kind of taught myself how to do it a couple of years ago, just because a lot of people were just doing loads of things. And I remember Jennifer Addinson, she, I, I think I read it in a magazine, it must have been like six, seven years ago, but it was like, she had a banana, she froze it, then she got it out and then she mushed it up and then she just applied that on her face and it's, you know, and like you said with the orange though, you know, people buy loads of products of vitamin C in and that's the most, you know, that's vitamin C, right? You know, that's right there. The most natural way you're going to get it. Um, I probably maybe just, if anyone's watching, maybe not on the eyes, I'll probably avoid the eye area on that one. But, you know, it's, it's crazy. And then, like you said, your grandma as well, you know, it's, and now that like a lip scrub is like, I think in a way it's like a must-have product in a way. I think everyone's obsessed with mm -hmm. lip scrubs and these sugar scrubs. And it's like, well, you can say your your was it your grandma, right? Was your grandma? Yeah. She should have claimed that ages ago <laughs> because it was yeah. God, it's, it's so crazy how like it's so many different things out there, mm -hmm. and um, some of them. Like, you know, I, I know a friend and she got like loads, I mean, like a whole range of vitamin C products. I'm not going to say the brand because it's not about branding or anything like that. It's just about talking, but it was a whole, the whole line of vitamin C. So, and I was just like, geez, how, you know, it's, like, that's a lot. It was a lot, you know, like I find if you want to have like a vitamin C product, which it, it is great for brightening and um, stuff like that as well. And especially the turmeric ones. They're the new, I think, the new thing for vitamins at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, it's like just people just buy one, you know, because your face needs other needs, I think. And otherwise, if it's just all the same thing, maybe it's not going to... Like, I never stick to one thing, or one brand for the whole range. I, I, I mix it up because I just, I don't know, I feel like it's better that way. Are you the same? Yeah, totally. I mean, you know, I feel like one brand works for you and the other doesn't. So you always have to yeah. kind of figure it out what, what fits well on your face and looks good um, and natural, you know. Um, and sometimes you do have to combine two brands to make it look like it's yours, your face and everything. So, yeah. Yeah, it, it's, like, it's like me saying to you, Shannon, this, you know, if it's MAC, for example, you're only going to use MAC makeup 
that's the only thing. <laughs> it's like, hell no. It's, you know, because there's so many different things that, you know, to, and um, that's what I'm, you know, and that's why I always bring to life. I, I think never, like from my cleanser all the way from like a toner, moisturizer, a mask, like I, they're all different brands. I think they're not always the same thing, which mm-hmm. people have got to, I think is important thing to remember because obviously, you know, it's, it's a lot out there. So it's just not always, but then I always maybe say, make your own at home, which is hopefully some viewers to get to get some what you did. So that'd be awesome to do. Yeah, totally. Mm. Try some. <laughs> yeah, definitely, honey. Yeah. So what, what, I'll, before I let you go, so like, what is your ultimate beauty? I know it's skin, but like we talk about beauty as well, like beauty trick. So like, is, if you've got like a little trick for like eyebrows, eyelashes, maybe like a nice lip for any of your followers out there? Um, let's see. Um, oh yeah, I think the most, uh, I think this trick has been, you know, been out for a while, but I, I, I recently sort of, you know, started doing it and I see a change because before when I used to apply makeup, I used to use like brushes and, you know, beauty blenders and everything. But um, recently I've started using my hands. Um, right you know, blend my skin and everything. And I, I actually have seen a, a big difference because, you know, I feel like for some reason you apply a little less, you know, when you're using your, with your fingers and it just blends completely amazingly, you know, when you're using your hands instead of using your brush and everything. Um, but obviously for some products like blush and everything, you can use, you know, a brush. Um, but, but for like foundation or concealer, I'm always using my fingertips because again, it also is very hygienic because your, you know, your hands are going to be clean. Uh, you know, so, so yeah, that's, I feel like that's one of the tricks that I learned and I would like to share, uh, with my fans out there. But that's all, like, that's how it was back in the day that it was only hands, you know? And it was like a makeup artist on a photo, like on a music shoot, photo shoot, whichever. And they used to just use the hands before all this brushes and the sponges, you know, back in the day. Yeah, totally. So, uh, but I know what you mean, because sometimes, you know, if you're rushing out or you need to be somewhere, you haven't got time to to change your brushes, like this little brush to this brush to this brush. It's just like hands, get it done, on you go, but. Uh, yeah mm-hmm. well that's a good that's a good trick honey yeah so that's that's a nice little beauty trick because people i think there's so much different so many things out there brushes beauty blenders people kind of forget about the actual their own hands mm-hmm. now i guess and i think it's quite nice to say no take, take your back have a little go see what works for you i suppose you never know right yeah totally i mean yeah. I, I you know i started doing it and it felt really cool um and also like you know another trick that I kind of did was um, applying red lipstick um, is when you want to enhance your, you know, face or you just don't want to put a lot of makeup. You know, I'm terrible at my eye makeup, so I'm always making sure that, uh, you know, it emphasizes and highlights my lips because you can either highlight your eyes or your lips. And I usually go for my lips. Um, I feel like a red lipstick can just change your entire look. Like literally, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be an evening, uh, you know, out, out going or anything. You can, you could, you put lipstick, like the red lipstick any time of the day and it would always, always work for you. Yeah. I know a red lipstick, I, I, I don't wear them, but, <laughs> but like on, I see on like ladies and I think, I love when I see red lips like all dressed in black maybe, like a lovely like suit or a dress, something like that. I just love that on like a lady, you know, when they're like rocking up a red carpet event or something, that's just striking, you know? It's just like, whoa. Absolutely. And there's nothing else that you need, just the red lips and you're good. Yes. And it is good though, Instagram though and YouTube, you know, it's, it's good though to kind of teach you that kind of things here and there, you know, it's kind of nice to have them. Now in this era, of this decade (laughs) because before we didn't have anything like this you know you used to literally have to go to a makeup artist Mm -hmm. and they would have to like you have to book their time and they have to teach you and then in that like you know maybe that one hour slot that that you had to learn how to do that and then go away and say oh gosh should I get all that but now I think because there's so much things online I suppose you can just like watch it over and over again Um, yeah 
yeah, I'm gonna do it. But thank you so much, Simon and Han. Thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate your time. Um, yes, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. I had so much fun talking about all these beautiful <laughs> products and, and routines and everything. And thank you so much for having me. Thank you, Han, for so much coming. I love beauty. We all love beauty. We all love skin. So, yeah, thank you so much, honey. I will speak to you soon, okay? Thank you so much. Take, Take care. care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.